Be seated, please. And Mr. Brown, if you'd remain standing, I'll ask the presiding juror, ma'am, has your jury reached a punishment verdict? Uh, I'll read the verdict as follows. We, the jury, having found the defendant, Joshua A. Price Brent, guilty of the offense of intoxication and manslaughter as charged in the indictment, hereby assess his punishment at 10 years confinement in the Institutional Division of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice and a fine of $10,000. We further find that the defendant has never before been convicted of a felony in this state or any other state and recommend that the court suspend the imposition of the sentence and the defendant be placed on community supervision. If a fine is assessed, it is to be paid as signed by the presiding juror. If that's your individual verdict, would you indicate that again by raising your right hand, please? Let the record reflect that all 12 hands have been raised. Um, <clears throat> sadly, Mr. Brent, you're not the... Uh, first Dallas Cowboy that's killed somebody with a motor vehicle, but I sure hope that you're the last. And sadly, you're not the first Dallas Cowboy to be convicted of a felony in this past year's time, but I hope you're the last for a long time. You know, if done responsibly, I'm all for a young man with a high pressure job to blow off some steam, but you have to do it responsibly. And your actions, I think, bring shame to the city of Dallas, and I think you do a grievous wrong to humanity by killing your friend. You certainly had a big warning sign that you were on the wrong path with that prior DWI, and you chose the path of irresponsibility. No driver's license, no insurance. You shouldn't have even been driving a car to begin with, not to mention the fact that you're driving while intoxicated. You chugged a bunch of alcohol, weren't wearing your seatbelt, didn't make sure your passenger had a seatbelt on. Uh, another, I mean, just a long chain of, of being irresponsible in your actions. Um, I have to set, the law requires that I follow the jury's recommendation, so I have to probate your sentence. I don't have any choice in that. But I am going to order uh, that you, uh, that this probationary term uh, be for 10 years. So you're gonna be on probation for 10 years. And based upon the facts of this case, I think you've earned every day of the maximum number of days in jail that I can give you, which is 180 days in jail as a condition of probation. So that will be the order of the court. Um, you have 30 days to file a notice of appeal, if that's what you choose to do, and I'm sure your lawyers will discuss that with you shortly, what your options are, but you can go, you can go now with your bailiff. All right, members of the jury, <coughs> um, you are uh, released and excused from all those instructions that I gave you before. Uh, you're free to talk to whomever you want to or not want to talk to about, your, about this case. Um, we'll give you, the bailiffs will give you a note for your employer um, I want to thank you for your service uh, the past couple of weeks. I know this was not an easy case, and we did impose on you by sequestering you at one point. Um, so I want to thank you very much uh, for doing your civic duty and helping resolve this case. Um, um, and I'll talk to you just a little bit more in the back there, but, uh, but you all are excused, okay? All rise. All rise.